Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be talking about something that Ed Boon revealed um, via a fan asking him a question. And the question was if in Mortal Kombat 12, 3D era characters will appear. And Ed Boon responded, as you can see right here from the tweet, he says, yes, you will. So this means that 3D era characters will be in Mortal Kombat 12. Now, all I got to say is that is just awesome. Now, let's get more into the article to see what more it says. So um, it says here on, give me, give me a sec to, to see the name of the site. Okay. Um, Eventhubs.com. Um, I've never heard of the site. I've heard about this rumor. Um, so I'm just going to do it from this site, even though I don't even know that much about it. Whatever. It is what it is. Um, <laughs> um, it says here on eventhubs.com that uh, in a recent Q&A session on Twitter, Ed Boon responded to a fan's question that inquired about the possibility of more 3D era characters returning in Mortal Kombat 12, with the tweet, of course, saying, as it says on Ed Boon's profile on the Twitter link, as you see here on this site, yes, you will, boldly proclaimed Boon over Twitter in response to the question. With this in mind, which 3D era characters Mortal Kombat 4, Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Mortal Kombat Deception, and Mortal Kombat Armageddon could we potentially see in Mortal Kombat 12? For the sake of this list, we'll be excluding Quan Chi, Kenshi, Shinnok, Tanya, Boraicho, Frost, and Fujin, since all of these characters have appeared in either Mortal Kombat 9, X, or 11, which is fair because they have appeared in there. Over there. So in those, the past three Mortal Kombat games that have come out, so it makes sense. Um, now, so let's take a look at five 3D era character Mortal Kombat characters that we haven't seen in a long time. It should be noted that, uh, that, and this is the person saying that apparently he will be attending to include at least one candidate from each of the Mortal Kombat games from the 3D era. Okay, so let's see what this person thinks, who this person thinks could show up in Mortal Kombat 12. So let's go around. Raiko. Ooh, Raiko's a good one, actually. Um, so, Raiko made his debut appearance in Mortal Kombat 4. At first, there were plenty of mysteries surrounding Raiko in Mortal Kombat 4, especially with regards to his endings in Mortal Kombat 4 and Mortal Kombat Gold. Some of Raiko's special moves include the Assassin's Killing Stars, a teleport flip pick, and weapon. Raiko. Um, all right. Um, all right, so it's just basically saying on, uh, his abilities, so that's it there. So moving on now. Natara. Natara is one we haven't seen in a long while. So here we go. First appearing in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, Natara is effectively the only vampire that's been playable throughout Mortal Kombat's history. At one point, there were plans for a male vampire character to join Natara in Mortal Kombat Deadly Alliance, but this was supposedly scrapped due to a lack of time. Natara's attacks include, okay, so the dislike of Reiko, it's talking about her attacks or whatever. Ashra, making her debut in Mortal Kombat Deception. Ashra gives off the appearance of an attractive young woman. However, appearance is going to be deceptive that she is actually a demon who originated from the Nether Realm, which that is true. Um, so we could see her. Who knows? Um, Shujinko. I'm going to be surprised if this one is actually true. If Shujinko does show up, I'm going to be really surprised. Um, Shujinko was effectively the main protagonist of Mortal Kombat Deception and is the character most at fault for Onaga's return in that game, which we all know. Thanks to a supernatural gift of the gods, Shujinko is able to perfectly copy moves from other fighters. Um, da -da -da -da. And it's just talking about things that he's done, so whatever, no need to know about that. Now, Taven. Taven is one. Oh, this one's going to be interesting. If Taven shows up in this, bro, that is going to be really interesting. Taven made his debut appearance in Mortal Kombat Armageddon as one of the very few newcomers in that game, since all the old characters returned. Notably, Taven was also the protagonist of the game's conquest mode. Um, all right, so, and, and just like with all the other characters, talking about his abilities and all that. So, so this is interesting. This is going to be interesting. I hope these are true. Um, but I do want to know, if it's not just going to be them, who else could show up, though? That's what I want to know. Um, who else could show up? Um, so because, I mean, if it's just going to be these five, I'll be perfectly okay with it. But 
I'd be down to see more, though, at the same time, because we haven't seen a lot of other 3D era, era characters in a long time, aside from the ones that we've seen in Mortal Kombat 9, 10, and 11. Um, so, I mean, I do want to know what other characters could show up. But, um, but yeah, that's going to be it for the video. Um, post comments down below, though. Let me, know you, let, me, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think that some of these could be true? Do you think none of these uh, are likely to happen? And tell me, what do you also think? Do you think that these are good? These that what this the choices that this guy made um, with who he thinks could with the characters he thinks could show up in Mortal Kombat 12? Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, do you think it's a good idea? It's a bad idea? Do you think that none of these are good? Um, do you not want to see any 3D era characters return at all? Um, let me know. Also, if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys hit the like button, subscribe, and if you guys know anyone that's a fan of uh, Mortal Kombat, uh, you just send this video over to them because they might have a good time watching this. And also come over over on Twitch and Discord. I'll be putting at least those in the description down below. So yeah, until then, everybody, I will see you all later, and goodbye.